but we were working out this here in my gym. And I was talking to, to Austin Aries, who I had the privilege of going to have on this show here really soon. I uh, had a really, really, uh, really enjoyed talking to him. And, but I was telling him, I go, for me, I knew I needed to get my health back. And I had to focus on that first. I had to shut off everything. And in that time, because that, I've always been ultra competitive. And, it, and it's been good at times, but it's also, uh, it made me realize that there were, I had some serious flaws in, in my mindset. Uh, that was causing a lot of unhappiness uh, from being so competitive and for me a major shift uh, that has happened uh, one getting the health back and then after getting this health and continuing to get my health back it was I needed to start putting myself around other people again and where I could start pushing myself but I know if I go back to my old mindset and I start trying to just be as competitive as I can I'm, I'm probably gonna hurt myself I'm gonna mentally and physically, that I have to be very careful with what has happened to me uh, and giving myself time. But I found, for me, and like people we always ask, well, how do you, how do you not be competitive? And, and oftentimes, well, well, I'm just not. Well, the reason why I'm, I'm able to now get out of that mindset is I've turned on, I just want to learn as much as possible, which I've always had to a degree on other things, but now it's just letting go, and I think this is, for all of us, I think this can apply, whether you're competitive or not, that when we shift our mindset to, I just wanna learn as much as possible and, and be able to help as much as possible. So whatever I know to be able to, and, and I know how to work really hard, and I, and I think I can motivate people through my hard work and, and my mindset. And, and I think when you shift to, I just wanna learn, your ego shuts off the competitive drive. Not saying that doesn't like go away, but you're you're just you're you're there to learn, and you become a student. And you're not you're not. It, it, it's a different thing, and it's been different for me. And but it's allowed me to start putting myself around some people again, and um, growing. And getting better, and, I, and it's a, I have to be very patient with all of this. And there's a lot more that I want to be doing, and, and putting myself in some situations, and, and having the time, getting the supplements away for me on, from the manual end, and where I have time to start putting myself in some really different, cool situations to learn. And so I just think when we take on that mindset of I just want to learn as much as possible, um, it, it shuts the ego off on its own, and it allows us to not question things as much. And it allows us to put ourselves in positions to to grow and learn, uh, because that's all that life is. There's always somebody bigger, better, faster, stronger, smarter, better looking. <laughs> Good luck finding that, though. I'm kidding, guys. There's always someone better, but it, 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 it's, it's as far as what someone's perception of better is is a whole other thing. But just put yourself in a position that you want to learn, and it uh, and you don't really, yeah, just let the ego go. It's a good thing. It's, uh, it's helped me tremendously. So just wanted to share that this week. That was my thought of the week. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you can smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel. And for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.